Hello, my name is Felicia. And my name is Giancarlo, and I'm wondering why I'm here. This is our review of... Archie. Archer. 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 Archie's the <laughs> no. red-headed guy with freaking Veronica, who's the yo, yo. brunette. Betty. And Betty, who's the blonde. Is it? No, I got it all Betty's screwed up. Betty's red. No, Archie's red. There is no red. Red is, red is Archie. The danger zone board game. Highway <gasps> to the it looks danger zone. Remember that? No. When was that? In 1980? It was a song? It was popular in 1980. Ah, so this is about Top Gun. By uh, Kelly. No, it's not. No. What? <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you say Why that am I here long? with her? Okay, so again, we're going to take a vote. And you're going to choose the audience who you prefer, myself or this. In Archer, the board game, you play as one of the characters from the show trying to get the upper hand on your fellow ISIS members. In the box, you'll get a playing board to keep track of your victory points, eight character cards for each of the characters in the game, a deck of cards for each of those characters, six location tiles from the ISIS building, a challenge deck with challenges you must try to complete, a deck of event cards with special abilities, a mission leader token and an initiative token, three blue dice, and a set of tokens for each of the characters. The first player to get to 20 victory points wins. Here's how to set up. Depending on the number of players, you'll shuffle the location tiles and flip over the number of tiles indicated in the rulebook. Shuffle the challenge deck and place within reach of all players. The rest of the tiles are removed from the game. If Mallory's office is in play, shuffle the event deck and place it next to the tile. Now each player chooses a character card and receives a card deck and tokens of that character. The tokens with the names of locations that are not in play are returned to the box. Each player shuffles their deck. Note that in this game, you do not have any actual hand of cards. You'll draw cards and play cards, but never keep cards in your hand. You're now ready to insult your teammates and complete ego boosting missions. A round has three phases. The first phase, player will secretly choose a location they want to go by placing a character token with that location in front of them. Once everyone chose a location token, starting with the first player, flip over the token and place it on the location you chose. If you're the first player at that location, you also do the special ability at that location. The second phase is the mission phase. Here you check to see who has the mission leader token. If no one has it, the player with the least points gets it. That player flips it over and checks to see how many mission cards to flip according to the number of players. The mission cards have no names on them, but feel free to create mission objectives according to the type and image on the card. The mission cards have type, number of victory points, and difficulty value. Your character card will show you how many dice you roll for each type of skill. The player with the mission leader token will attempt to complete a challenge first and rolls their skill dice. If the value is equal to or more than the difficulty, take the card and gain its victory points. If you fail, the next player gets his try at one of the challenges. Keep going around the table until everyone had a turn. The final phase is cleanup. Discard all missions not completed and each player takes the location token back into their pool face down. Keep doing rounds until a player reaches 20 points. You're probably asking yourself, when do we play cards from my deck? Well, if you're not the first player at a location, roll a die for each other player there. For each 5 or 6, you get to draw a card. From those cards, you play one and put the rest under your deck. These cards will do certain actions. One of them is Insult, which can only be played on a character in the same room as you. Others are Simple Ego Boosts. And finally, the other way of drawing a card is from each 5 or 6 you roll during a mission attempt, even if you fail it. Remember, no matter how many cards you just drew, you only get to play one. Let's talk about the event deck from Mallory's office. When you're the first player at Mallory's location, draw one of these cards and read it out loud. Some of these will give you victory points for having completed certain type of missions or simply do special abilities to gain or remove victory points from players. Reach 20 VPs and you win. Let me start off by saying that the Archer TV show is not for everyone and neither is this game. We've played it with two different groups and each group had mixed feelings about it. This game is best played with people who actually know the show. A lot of the jokes and insults will only be funny to people who have seen the show. It's a very luck based game being a dice game and you really don't have much control on the outcome of the game. 
You can be way behind one round and then suddenly you win the game. Archer is a beer and pretzel game to be played for a few laughs and reminisce on some characters and episodes that true fans enjoyed. The screenshots taken are awesome and a lot of the effort went into getting the right frame. The production quality is really good and having a few location randomly placed during setup adds a little replay value. We just wish the mission had some titles to them and had an actual feeling of going through the mission instead of just rolling dice. The Fortune and Glory game has a good example of what I mean. There is some player interaction but playing more than 5 player creates a lot of downtime while waiting for your turn. If you're a group that likes casual gamings and enjoy the show, you should check this game out. We had a few laughs and some good moments, just don't expect to feel awesome when you win the game, the dice did all the work. We're giving Archer 6.5, just a tip of 7 out of 10. Let me know this. Or him. Or John Carl. This. JC in the house. Felicia in the house. Archer in the house. Yeah, at least they didn't call him Archie this time. I'ma fuck you up. Pew, pew, pew. I am the male hormone that stimulates the development of male genital organs. Ah. Testosterone. I was like, balls? <laughs> Close. <laughs> That's what I was thinking in my head. <laughs>